Five areas of competition. In the Anartha Olympics by Krishna's mercy. Saritam nirjit kube krad vishayan priyan. Yathop josham bhunjano natripya da jitendriya. Quote, in spite of achieving the power to control in all directions and in spite of enjoying all types of dear sense gratification as much as possible, Hiranyakashipu was dissatisfied because instead of controlling his senses he remained their servant. Srimad Bhagavatam, 7th April 2019 One Watching Television Prabhu, I heard you have been watching television lately. That is not good. It is only Maya. You will not learn anything important. I have not watched a single program in years. I do not even know who the candidates for the upcoming presidential election are. You can call it ignorance, but I call it bliss. We should all strive to reach a similar standard. 2. Taking Intoxicants Prabhu, I heard you were drinking coffee the other day. I realize that they place these items out in the break room at the office for employees to enjoy. I understand that work can be stressful, that staying awake is a requirement not only for the duration of the day but also for driving home later at night. But still, these are not good. You cannot realize the Almighty through intoxication. You will not make real progress in that way. I have not touched any kind of intoxicant for years. Yes, I did recently both take and recommend that experimental medication for others, administered through an injection in the arm. But I don't know why you are focusing on that. Better to be safe than risk death through the onset of disease. I was also keeping others around me safe. Never mind what the actual ingredients are to the medication or the fact that the manufacturer never actually tested the effect on transmissibility. 3. Talking with Friends Prabhu, I heard that you spent the past weekend hanging out with friends. This is not good. It is Sangha with Asat. They will only bring you down. They are not interested in spiritual life. They only seek to enjoy the senses. We have to be careful about choosing our association. I have completely cut off all contact with outsiders. 4. Eating food from outside Prabhu, I saw you eating pizza at that restaurant the other day. Needless to say, I am quite disappointed in you. Just imagine the amount of karma you are taking in. I realize that it is not easy to prepare one's own meals, especially when there are no helpers around. But still, I think it is better to starve than to consume impure foods in that manner. 5. Number of Rounds Chanted Prabhu, I heard that you recently started chanting the Maha Mantra. You are at four rounds a day. That is not bad, but you should strive for 16. That is the minimum. Just consider that the Vaishnava saints we have heard from chant 64 rounds a day. Imagine how far superior to us they are in their advancement in spiritual life. Depending on the point of view, such comparative analysis is either favorable or unfavorable. On the favorable side, there is the attention to Anatha Nivriti. This is one of the phases in the development of yoga through the Bhakti process. Anatha Nivriti is the elimination of behaviors and tendencies which are unwanted. Anatha refers to that which is not profitable. The profit in this case is the gradual purification of the consciousness. The wise understand that true success in life relates to the consciousness and not necessarily on the external conditions. That is because conditions can change. One person is born into wealth, while another knows only poverty. One person is in the dominant position as a male, while another person must depend upon others due to their female designation. One person is a child, while another is an adult. One person is young with full vibrancy, while another is old with their remaining days quickly dwindling. 
Perfection can be attained through a purification in consciousness. I feel bliss and enthusiasm through simply reading a few words. I spot an image and feel the need to reflect on the mercy I have received. I feel intense appreciation for what others have done for me, for my opportunity to continue to relish everything great about an existence. Anatha Nivriti is an asset in that purification process, but there is also the unfavorable viewpoint. Thir says that too much pressure is being applied upon the aspiring yogi. If there is always attention paid to following this rule and that, a person is bound to go crazy. There is no peace of mind when a person feels like they are always lagging behind, that they cannot reach the gold medal status in an Olympic-style competition. If the attention is only on metrics, including the standing of others, what time is left for actual devotion, for genuine contemplation of the Absolute? Nasti buddhir ayuktasya, na cha ayuktasya bhavna, na cha bhavvetah shantir, ashantasya kutah sukham. Quote, one who is not in transcendental consciousness can have neither a controlled mind nor steady intelligence, without which there is no possibility of peace. And how can there be any happiness without peace? Lord Krishna, Bhagavad Gita, 2 Dashamlav Chai Chai We can resolve the two clashing points of view by studying the target condition. The goal is to reach a position of Jitendriya. This is control over the senses. In the most basic implementation, it means that if I know something is bad for me, but is easily available, I still have the power to avoid it. I have enough control over the situation. Jitendriya is not for dominating others, putting others down or winning a competition. Rather, Jitendriya ties to happiness. It is Jita or victory over the Indriya or senses. It is like living peacefully in any condition. The opposite condition is miserable. We have the historical example of Hiranyakashipu. Though the external conditions would be considered favorable, he was miserable. He had no control over his senses. He was thus always agitated. Hiranyakashipu's son was Jitendriya, and so Prahlada was always peaceful. The son tried to persuade the father to follow the same path, Bhagavata Dharma to at least attempt to please the Almighty and the Acharyas by attention to detail in Anatha Nivriti brings tremendous benefits which do not have to diminish. Whether I am winning or losing, if I am at least trying then I am stepping closer to the object of worship of Pralada. I am winning the favor of the one who can control the conditions to guarantee my success, to bring a peaceful condition of knowing that he always has my back in the manner of Narasimha protecting Prahlada. In closing, Erdyan, why agitation to attack, when knowing he has my back, that despite the conditions found, always in joy abound, senses easily conquered so, because of highest goal to know, Prahlada different from the father seeing, Narasimha from all agitation freeing,